Welcome to all myself, Professor Deshmukh MS, going to present the theory lectures on dynamic of machinery. Unit number one, that is single degree of freedom with the free vibration and having the topic that is a damp free vibrations. Uh, what is the vibrations here? Vibration is quite simpler one. It is a phenomena where there is oscillations occur about 10 equilibrium points. Uh, look at the diagrams, spring mass system and uh, the mass has given some initial moment and with that initial moment it will be travel uh, between point minus a and a from their equilibrium positions that is o so quite simpler one and this oscillation is a total entire phenomena is known as what vibrations what about the damp vibrations the undamped vibration means what there is no uh, energy loss and with the damp vibration there is something loss is there so the spring mass system having some mass is attached initial moment undamp there is a no energy loss and with damp there is an energy loss so damping again this is a simple example of the your shock observer having the damping having the piston and mass cylinder arrangement the viscous fluid is provided in between the cylinder and that of your piston schematic diagram shows the spring having stiffness k c having the damper coefficient c of the damper m having the mass and uh, some packaging system is there ft the external forces we are applying to this total system and after that it got some resistance because of the damper that's why it is known as what damping system now what are the types of damping are available that is a viscous damping coulomb damping or you can say dry friction damping material or the solid or hysterious stick or damping and magnetic damping so what about the viscous damping is quite simpler one the the viscosity having the fluid and uh, which is that the viscosity of the fluid the, the resistance is to the motion then and coulomb that is because of the friction third one material material itself provide some damping and magnetic damping because of the magnetization property of the magnets the, it create the uh, resistance to the motion so these are the types of damping that we have seen then again what are the damp uh, types of damp vibrations so it's quite simpler over damp critical damp under damp and undamp so these are the uh, the different the damping systems are available over damp system the system returns to its equilibrium position without oscillating so means what it returns to equilibrium without oscillating in the over damp situations critically damp it returns the equilibrium to equilibrium as quickly as possible without oscillations means what uh, dual damper you can say that the which is provided and the back side to return is uh, the door at original conditions so it is again example of critical damp system third one that is undamped the system oscillate frequently and compared to undamped situation the amplitude goes on decreasing with zero means what whatever the uh, the rate of decay of the amplitude is is uh, being less means what it goes smoothly with the equilibrium positions means what at the initially we are having maximum amplitude and at the end we are having the less amplitude as compared to one to start the again the undamped the system oscillate with the natural resonant frequency omega zero so these are the types of the damp vibrations uh, now look at these uh, the conditions that is the over damp critical damp and under damp so these are the three uh, the figures shows the different amplitude uh, rate again these are the graph which shows the what is the amplitude with the time means what on the x-axis that is a uh, time is available or the, with the time how the your uh, the graph is changes on the y-axis that is the distance travel from their equilibrium positions now with the strong damping shows that it is the goes rapidly the decay of your amplitude then again undamped situations looks the throughout it it is having the blue line shows the undamped vibrations which is uh, the at the initial to end this is the throughout the case it is been nearly constant the amplitude critically damped again shows by the green line 
Now, means what? Your amplitude goes on increasing. At the start, it is maximum one, and it will be goes to rest with the some uh, time interval. Under damp situations, now its uh, amplitude is uh, smoothly goes on decreasing. Means what? The at the start, it is having some values, and it will be goes to the rest after the long period of time. Means what? It take the long time for the rest. Now this is a graph that we are also seen in the undamped uh, vibrations. It quite simpler one. The damp vibrations which is having the amplitude goes on decreasing while undamped situations the throughout it is in the constant one. There is a no resistance in undamped situations and damp situations having the resistance by means of the uh, the fluid itself as a material uh, by means of the frictions so or by means of the magnetism also. Now under torsional vibrations. This is again the type. So why we have seen that this undamped not damp? So because of the undamped, uh, the vibration is associated with the torsional vibrations. So now if there is a resistance by the material uh, itself, under that condition it is called as what torsional uh, undamped or damp vibrations. We can say that. Now these are the methods of the measurement, just like your uh, undamped vibrations. That is the equilibrium method. Energy method, release method. Equilibrium method, the inertia forces and the external forces is goes to zero uh, additions. Energy method, total energy is constant. Third one, the relief method, maximum kinetic energy, maximum potential energy is being the same values. So what about the equilibrium method? The inertia force plus external force, the algebraic sum is being zero. Inertia force, the body it's possesses its uh, inertia. So that's why it is goes to its original conditions. So it is called as inertia force. External force, what are the forces we are applying to the system? That is called as external force. Energy method, total energy. Now energy, what are the energies available with the operating system? That is the kinetic energy, that is one half mv square. Means what mass of the uh, body which is attached to the spring. Then again, a v, that is the velocity of the your spring travel or the mass, you can say that. So, this is the kinetic energy. What about the uh, potential energy? Potential energy in terms of the uh, the spring energy. That is one half kx. Okay. So again, the relief method, the maximum kinetic energy, maximum potential energy. As a stretch condition, we are having the maximum um, kinetic energy at the initial case without uh, he, without. Uh, stretching that is maximum potential energy. So these two values are being constant. So this is all about the method of measurement. So thanks to all.